And on Saturday, we told you of a story of an eight year old in Bozeman who had turned to homeschooling to further his education. Jack's story is similar to many kids journeys in Montana. MTN's Medarius Bab dug a little bit deeper to find out more about the issues and the way that different people and organizations are trying to solve it. We're failing them and we know better. And so the question is, why aren't we doing better? According to the National Institute of Health, one in five people has dyslexia. That's equivalent to 200,000 Montanans. Kelly Fedge okay. DeBose has dedicated okay. the last 14 years of her life to understanding dyslexia and the role it plays in students' lives. They're just thinking, I don't want to go to school. It's like prison. I hate being there. People bully me. They think I'm stupid. I have to go to a special room, and there's a huge stigma. There are 42 states in the nation that have dyslexia laws mandating screening and intervention by public schools, but Montana is not one of them. Dyslexia private tutor Sarah Bernal says more resources need to be given to students at a very young age. It, it takes a community of people to fight for these kids. I don't have time. Our doors are busting at the seams with kids who need help. We have to be able to say, here's the resources, here's what you do, your kiddo's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. There's ways that we can help them. Homeschooling and private tutors at the Gallatin Valley Learning Center, as well as Thinking Cap, are available, but often place financial burden on the parents who have to pay for them. For that reason, Fedge DeBose has been working to get the Montana Dyslexia Screening and Intervention Act before the 2019 legislature. So I am really hopeful there's people, there's individuals that make a difference. And we're just trying to unite the individuals so that we can really um, show that this needs to happen. Fedge DeBose says 100 people will travel from around the state to testify for the bill. In Bozeman, Medeiros Bab, MTN News. Now this bill is expected to go before the Montana legislature in January.